So if it looks like planners threw up all over the place, you're not wrong. I have the guts of all of the planners right here from when I put this together. I did a video about this. This was my trial run Franken planner and I have been in here religiously for about two and a half weeks now and I really am enjoying the way it feels, the way I can flip the way it just works with my lifestyle. And I really am starting to just hone in and make this the absolute most perfect planner. Not only does it have weekly spreads, two monthly spreads, it also has forward planning here in the back. I did use the Kaleidoscope monthly deluxe here in the back and I will be using um, the layers monthly deluxe once that gets into the Erin Condren shop. I even have a bunch of really great lined paper in the back, straight paper, uh, plain paper, I also have dot grid and I've been using those as well. I have been making a lot of notes here in the back of my planner. Um, and this really details exactly what I want to do to change this style. So I've really made it work for me and think about exactly um, how this is going to work as a quad system. Now this means that I will have four planners for the entire year. Here's how it's going to go down. My first planner is going to be July through September. So I'll have all of the guts for weekly and daily through July through September in that one planner. I also have decided that I'm going to add some forward planning pages that I've picked out for the Kaleidoscope. These are from the monthly deluxe. Then I'll also have a note section at the back with, of course, lined productivity. I also have regular lined and then dot grid and a few plain. All of this has been hijacked from a lot of different planners, including the Vision Planner, the Monthly Deluxe, and I save these notes pages from um, uh, just a regular notebook that I have from Erin Condren, so I've got that. And then I'm gonna repeat the process um, in uh, January through March, April through June, October to December. So that's why I personalized these so I can keep track of what planner is which, even though they all look the same. Now you're probably wondering about coils. Where am I gonna get four rose gold coils? Well, I've already taken a plant this layers. This is the January through June because I'm actually using those daily pages in my May and June spread and this Franken planner that I just showed you. And of course, if you haven't seen that video, it really does a good job of explaining. There are gonna be some changes. So that's this coil. And when I get the monthly deluxe, I will also get a rose gold coil. And when I undo that, then I will have rose gold coils. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm actually gonna put you on hyperlapse because uncoiling, as you know, takes a little bit of a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and uncoil this and uncoil this and start mashing them together. Yay! Well, that wasn't too hard. We're all squared away here with our horizontal and our dailies. Now you're probably wondering how am I going to decide what parts to keep and what not to keep. Now keep in mind, I do have two colorful and then I will have this neutral and then my monthly deluxe, I will make neutral as well. So that way I'll have two colorful and two neutral and then everything will line up for the most part. Now, um, as you can see, this is a 2020 and this is a 2021. So it does change. So I'm not going to use this January through June. I'm only gonna focus on this July through December for the most part for the first planner. So I'm going to go ahead and start flipping over the things I want to keep. And I've decided to make sure that I'm going to keep 
colorful for the first four months and then neutral for the last four because these have more tones for um, suited for winter and these are more colorful months. So I'm going to go ahead and keep these in here obviously and then I have my monthly and then I'm going to have my dailies. Okay, that doesn't change. Now, how am I going to integrate this? I'm going to go ahead and start flipping over the ones I am going to use in the winter time near the end of the year. And then I have my July weekly spread. Those are gonna go before my dailies. I'm gonna move this guy to the side. So you can see exactly how this is going to go down. Remember, these are my weeklies. They're going to go in front of my July. So that will look fairly seamless with the colorful and the neutral. Okay, and I'm going to repeat that for all of August. So the next comes the weekly, the neutral month, and then the dailies. The neutral month and the dailies for September. Now I'm at this point, I'm all done, and I'm gonna put this off to the side. The only thing I have to decide now is am I going to use a colorful or am I going to use a neutral and am I going to use the sticker? The answers are I'm going to stick with the pocket that goes with the theme I'm going with. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side. I don't need this for a while, but I am going to keep these off to the side with my other things I'm going to attach. Now the other thing I'm going to attach behind here is forward planning, I talked about that before. That's October, November, and December. And then I'm going to add a note section All right, so that's the basic bones of the whole thing. Now there are a few other things I'm planning to add that I've already thought about, is I'm going to add productivity pages after the neutral month. After the neutral month, like normal, so there's a tab here for neutral, and then this lined page here, I'm actually going to add some productivity pages. I'm gonna add four for each one for each week and these will be my task list for work now the this monthly calendar is going to be for work related so i'm going to have one of these productivity pages for each week of work and then it flows into the goals page and then it has my weeklies now you're probably wondering well how are you going to know where you are in your weekly I love my mini bookmarks that I make um, and this is always going to stay in there. I use it right now here in my original Franken planner and it works out so nicely. And the reason I have changed my content planner because I spend most of my time in my dailies and when I wanna go to the month view, I grab the tab and I flip it over and you know, obviously it would be attached because it's last year's model, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, and this would be my life. Now I have it as my content planner, but I'm actually going to switch the two and make this my life and then my content planner be the neutral. So that was my big decision while I was in here because I noticed while I was in my dailies, I always grabbed that tab to do some scheduling. So that is the only difference that this will be my life and my neutral will be my work and I added productivity pages afterwards so they would all have work together. I'm gonna to go ahead and do that for all of them. August does have five weeks, so I am going to be adding five pages for August, but other than that, I tried to stay with the theme of the colors, being that these are those darker, darker tones for July. All right, there you go. I have the majority of it all. Now it's time to go ahead and start binding. I've grabbed my coil and I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, getting this guy together so we can have fun putting the final touches on. 
He's kind of crooked. Hold on a second. All right, let's give that a try. So as long as he's in line with all of the other rings and he's fairly straight, this should be pretty easy. I know that the first two or three are difficult, but other than that, after that, it goes on so slick. I have one of these pages that's not in the right spot. Sometimes I like to not have the, uh, the binder clip on, depending on how the coil feels. See, the first three, pretty good. If I get a little bit off kilter with the pages, I just stick it onto the side of the counter and go start again. Keep going. Here we go. Piece of cake now. Well, that didn't take too long. Once you get it started, it just right flows. And I do like to take the binder cliff off after a while because the pages actually go on better when they're kind of in that shape right there. Uh, I wouldn't do it to start off with, but once you get the first two holes done, it really does, really does come together nicely. All right, getting close to the end. And I'll show you the last few things. I don't know why I can't talk. It's like I it's like walking and talking. All right. You just got to watch this end to make sure it goes over the edge and now it's ready to go. All the pages are inside. Now I'm just going to go ahead and bend this guy back inside. It's hard to know. You just I like to turn my hand and then go where that seam is right there or where that bump is and I'm actually going to twist and make sure it's underneath while holding this side with my finger. Did you, I hope you saw that. That's how that works. And there you go. Now it's time to add the few last things, the covers. And um, I also am very excited because I found um, a kind of a hack um, as far as things I want to trade from one planet to the other without having to recoil all the time. Um, I've decided that I'm going to use some page protectors. Now, Erin Condren actually hasn't come out with page protectors for the spiral planner, which I'm hoping she does at some point, but this clear page protectors for the binders, I actually previewed one of them. Um, it's a pack of three, so you have plenty of time to mess up, but all I've done is taken my We Are Memory Keepers punch after I've trimmed off that one little section up there and then I trimmed a little bit off the top and it is as wide as the cover just a little bit over but the the honestly part about it is that if you put it near the back near the cover it you probably won't even notice so that's where mine is going to sit and this is where my school calendar will go as it moves from one planner to the next you just slide that in there kind of like um, you do some of your covers, you slide those into there and it works out really well. A little bit of fiddling to start with, but on, on a whole, it works out really well. Make sure I got them all on there and I do. Let's test that. Let me show you what it looks like in here. Oh, didn't get popped on. See, it's just just on the outside of the back cover. So it's a little bit long, but it, it doesn't really bother me and you can't even tell or see it. And here is our final flip through. Obviously we have our dated covers, one for each of the quarters. Then I'll have my vellum, obviously the title page. Um, it does say July through December, but it doesn't really matter to me. And then I have this 2021 tab. 
Then I have my neutral tab, which is going to be my content planner. And then four productivity pages, one for each week to signify what I need to get done for those. And then I've got my goals page here that is going to be for work goals. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use it. In the past, I really haven't because it's in a weird spot, but for now, I'm just gonna start with my weeklies. And then of course, I've got my four weeks here notes page at the end and then I've got my daily section so this will be my life and then I have again my goals page and then it starts in with all of the dailies for July and then it just repeats over again so I have my work planner then I've got another goals page for work and then here is my weekly spread and then it just repeats again with my life calendar and my dailies there. Let's fast forward on to the end. So the end of September, I have October, which is going to get glued to here. And then obviously I'm going to glue here to November. So then I just flip that and it will be glued here as well. Oh, look, I even have sticky note ready to go. And then November was, December is going to be the same way. I did keep the note section here. Then I have my colorful stickers and a colorful pocket with our lovely clear page protector from the binder system. And then I have my back cover. Right, that's just a whole lot of love there. Just three months and it's going to work perfect. So what am I gonna do until my monthly deluxe comes? I'm actually just gonna do the same trick I did before. Grab my daily duo and a binder clip and put them in safe storage until I can get my hands on the monthly deluxe. All right guys, thanks so much for stopping by and enjoying this crazy Franken planner idea. I know I'm going to love it because I've enjoyed having my other one here close by, ready to go. And I just, I just know that this is just going to work out so well in my life and in yours if you choose to as well. All right, guys, thanks so much and have a beautiful day.